A lunchtime protest at the Doyle today was the culmination of a long trip for 70 parents and friends of the Donegal Cleary Centre. The centre caters for 37 clients with intellectual disabilities but has been deemed unfit for purpose by the HSE. Brian Lally met some of the group, starting with Seamus McHugh, whose main worry is that the client group are not split up. What we really need to do is to keep them all in the one area because we feel if they're split that the chances of getting a new centre will be very slight to nil, I would say, at that stage, you know. Catherine is, is my uh, daughter, she's here today. She has speech impediment difficulties and all that, and uh, she's there now five years. You don't want to split them because if you do, you feel that they'll go into strange areas that will not be happy in it. Anymore. The HSE seems to have a problem with meeting the parents and friends and the people that's using this. If you even got to meet them, you're going forward. Whereas it is at the minute, you're, sta- you're, you're kind of static because you're not meeting the people to tell them what you need. Evelyn Hogan, why have you made the journey all the way to the Dáil today? I've made the journey today because I feel it's a very important uh, resource for the adult special needs people of Donegal. There's 37 uh, adults attending this and they're going to be shipped off left, right and centre. And it's very unfair to not only to the the adult special needs person that are attending it, but also to all the families involved. All the families here, they're all um, going to be affected by the decisions of the government sitting inside in the office with the stroke of a pen. They can just decide, right, we're going to close this down. It gets them out of the, the family home. It gives the parents a few hours. They know exactly where they are and they're being looked after. So that's why I came along today. I am originally from Donegal. I did attend Cleary's, the Four Masters, and it's a very important issue as far as I'm concerned. My name's Neil Megan. My son's on it. He cannot speak. Any change at all, I just put some clean off bottles, and that's not good. Like, they're all friends, and they're all together since very school age. Thomas Pringle, it looks as if you have the guts of a quarter outside the doll here today. Uh, what's it all about? Well, it's basically the parents and friends of the Cleary Centre in Donegal Town, which is a, a day centre for uh, adults with intellectual disabilities. But the HSE have decided that the existing building is not fit for purpose, and they want to split up the, the use, service users and spread them around Donegal Town. It is a big upheaval for them, and it takes a lot of explaining and a lot of discussion. And Johnny and Miss Mary and Mary and Miss Patty exactly. and all that. Yeah, exactly. And also as well... The the HSE are required to take into account the views of service users and, and consultation in relation to the, their needs, and they haven't done that either. So I think it's very clearly the view of the service users is that they want to stay together and they should be kept together. I don't think it costs anything to consult with people, and I think it's something as, as public servants we should all we should all be doing, and we should be talking together and coming arriving at proposals that work for everybody. And it is doable if the will is there to do it, and there is a, there is a, pro, a useful location already in the town that's available. And we could do this for the short period while we're waiting for the new build to take place. Mary Gorman, you're one of the main movers and shakers with the supporters of the Cleary Centre here uh, at the Dáil, indeed, on the steps of the Dáil. My son attends it and he's so happy there. And my son's an epileptic and like, like I couldn't even bring him here. He, he's not here today because he got so he got so upset about it. And I mean, he, he took a seizure on Saturday evening and it was actually about... About it, that that's why he was sick of what was happening. You see, that's the kind of that's so the kind of disturbance effect yes. that can, can happen because that's it. I mean, the he extreme reaction. He wasn't able to go in yesterday, and he's not going in today. And I don't know if he'll even go in for the rest of the week. Like I mean, they're all they're all upset about it. Like I mean, my son John is 27, and John goes to the Cleary Centre. The centre itself is a centre of excellence, and John would actually get the same services as what the clients from the CRC get. And that's what has been going on because John has been going to the CRC from his four months old up until he was 18. So I know exactly what John is getting. He's getting exactly the same. All his physio, his OT, his speech, anything that the CRC do, the Cleary Centre does the high same. High praise, high praise yes, indeed. Yes, for a wee small town yeah. and for 37 clients. Who's making these decisions? deciding where these clients are all going to go and where the parents. And another thing, I made it my business to find out, they were sending five clients to Ardra. It was costing €600 Euros a week to bus five clients from Monday to Friday to Ardra and back to Donegal Town. 
and I don't know then what how many how much it's going to cost to bus the other 19 or 20 to two kilowatts. A third level students have the best. I said I want the best for my son. The bottom line is that the HSC.